All right, so I removed these two screws here and here. I'll be uh, pulling this off. You can see when you pull back, there's a metal tab right there. And oh, you can barely see that right there, right here. And then there's one right there, and one right there. So the tricky part is, you can see, barely. Sorry, the lighting's horrible. I don't know how good that's going to come out. There's a clip for the cigarette lighter right here, and it hits the bottom of the OnStar unit when you try to pull it out so it's pretty challenging but it can be done otherwise you have to remove this whole piece and I'm not into doing that today I forgot to mention the two lights um, before you pull the main piece that goes from one end to the other in the center console off the top there are these two lights you just simply twist and pull down to get these off all right, so after I get this unit out, I will be back. All right, so now that this center piece is off, uh, got main access to the three, one, two, three nuts gonna pull the uh, head unit out you can see the rest of my Apple proprietary cables going up uh, this has got the AV composite cable so you've got the red right RCA jack for audio left yeah, uh, white uh, RCA jack for uh, left audio and then the yellow RCA jack for the video signal which is a separate wire right here um, they're going up to the head unit and then as I said before the USB unit for now um, I'm just gonna bring it back out and connect it to the cigarette lighter. I'd like to put the uh, a prob I'd like to actually run this potentially down here to one of these cigarette lighters and then move it onto the inside of the unit So it's not sit sticking out uh, where people could kick it in the back seat um, There's my center unit right there On my daughter's car seat. Okay um, so you can see the three clips now that I was talking about with your cigarette lighter adapters, uh, power adapters, whatever the hell you want to call these things. Uh, I literally have thrown this together just today on a Saturday, so bear with me uh, going through this. Anyway, I'll be back as soon as I get the head unit out. All right, <clears throat> so I'm back. I've got the Apple component, AV component cable hooked up. I removed the DIN unit from these three screws, hooked into the AV in, so it's coming in via the uh, AV in, as I said before. <laughs> um, see, I've got the, um, Apple component cable coming down into here and then I've ran it in the in through the center console up and out and then to the touch I can go into the touch menu and go to photos do photo library just do a play photos and the photos then show up as it's scrolling through the photos on the touch you got the photos on the den unit and as you I don't know how well you guys can see this or not but if you want to go to YouTube and you're in a Wi-Fi area which I'm in my garage and I've got my Wi-Fi connected you can go and play YouTube on here. 
And I think this will be my first time. Got the YouTube um, video of a dude in a Hummer crawling over another car. Some crazy ass music. Pretty cool. And then, of course, you can do music. Oh, man, that was a long way, but of course nothing up on the screen unfortunately for music, but at least it's there. It's got photos, videos, YouTube, music, uh, I don't think the internet will work. I highly doubt it. That'd be cool if the net showed up on the screen, but it doesn't. So, as you can see, I've got the touch set up with the Apple proprietary cable going into the uh, Kenwood DDX 6019. Now I just gotta put the face plate back together, which is the reverse of how I explained it coming out. Um, then the one last piece is just the USB cable that I'll run into one of the cigarette lighter adapters so I can actually charge the iPod while it's connected. I think that should do it for now. Uh, I hope this helps some people out there. I know that uh, I know that it's definitely helped me. Oh, and by the way, one last tidbit for you people, if you actually waited through this whole thing, I've got it set up to where you can watch DVDs. Sorry, I had the uh, dual zone set up so the music was still going through. Anyway, what I was trying to say is I've got the... Um, take the green wire and ground the green wire for the parking brake. You can get the DVD to work. As you can see, I'm going into reverse. Got my reverse camera in drive. Brake is off, no brake light. Brake's not on. As you can see, brake's on. Take the brake off. I'm in drive. And the DVD's player is playing. This will also work with the iPod if we go back to a pretty cool movie that came out recently. I'm in drive brakes off and I've got video so yes any police officers you want to come get me in the state of Texas it is illegal to drive with this on but it's a non moving violation so you've got to pull me over for something else first anyway that should cover it enjoy for anybody who this helps out only reason I did it was because I couldn't find it on the net anywhere probably out there probably not the first one but anyway Kenwood DDX 6019 with the Apple AV unit to connected to the iPod touch green wire ground so you can watch it while you're driving have a good one